So today, Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone got an update that is the start of something a little larger. Today, we're going to be running down the start of the Modern Warfare FC event, what it will entail, and everything you should know about the first limited time event of Modern Warfare 2. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. Are you liking the idea of some of these events? Are you liking the way that they're handling it so far? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, though, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. We've got still so much upcoming that you won't want to miss. So if you're part of the 70% of viewers who are not subscribed and would like to join us on that road to 600,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you. And finally, my friends at Gamer Advantage have some great Black Friday and holiday sales going on that Code Espresso can help get you a nice discount on, but more on them in a bit. For now, though, let's talk about the Modern Warfare FC events and everything you need to know. So the first bit of why we are talking about this today is because, well, as of today, if you checked your shop at all, you'll likely see the introduction of the first of three new bundles upcoming. Today, we saw introduced the Neymar Jr. bundle that comes along with Neymar as an operator, the All Kicks finishing move, the Feared Bass P Blueprint, the Long Ball SO14, the Ocean Gem Vehicle Skin, the Neymar Jr. 10 Weapon Charm, the Speed Boost Sticker, and the Outrun Emblem. Now, before we go any further, for full clarity and transparency, I don't care if you pick these up or not. In the past, I haven't really talked too much about shop items, just because I don't want it to seem like an ad or something like that because I had a creator code. Again, full transparency, the creator code program is not active in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, so I get quite literally nothing. We're just talking about something that's new here in the game, and that kicks off this mini event we're talking about. But this, again, is the first of three different bundles we'll see introduced over the course of the next week and a half or so. The other introductions here include Pogba as well as Messi. Pogba coming later this week on Friday and Messi next Tuesday, but this is just kind of the kickoff of everything. There's a bit more here to the Modern Warfare FC events, but to what degree? As detailed by the COD blog, it was stated more details, including information on a limited time COD ball mode and a community support your team pick a mini game will be shared in season in relation to the discussion about these three bundles. Now, COD ball, that's the other big introduction here, though officially there's nothing on this just yet unofficially though we've actually seen a little bit about it leak out now bear in mind again that until something is confirmed take it with a grain of salt but the way that it appears to be is that it's going to be an odd mode for sure if you're a traditional cod multiplayer fan but apparently it's going to be on its own separate standalone map set on a pitch but it's like rocket league apparently players will drive atvs perhaps other vehicles and attempt to get the ball into the opposing team's goal self-explanatory sure but certainly an out there concept for not only just Call of Duty, but also the Modern Warfare franchise and Modern Warfare 2 if all of this holds up. Now, to me, that's kind of a just niche thing and something that, will you play it? Maybe not, but it's just kind of to have fun there with this. But again, it's not anything official just yet, but it's currently what's leaked out. So only a matter of time, it seems like, until it will be coming with more official information on that. Now, I don't know how much I'll be playing with it. I saw a leaked clip. It didn't look to be as as intuitive or anything like that like rocket league was but i might try it out just for the sake of trying it out but that's something that is going to be coming as well and then the final thing detailed officially is a small pickums event maybe something in regards to of course the corresponding world cup teams currently in group play and then as things go on we'll see it kind of get a little bit more in depth now if you couldn't tell by the soccer or on a global scale football theme this modern warfare fc event is happening in conjunction with the world cup and in celebration of that so it would make sense. That's also probably when we'll see and why we see so many World Cup nations anthems in the war tracks of vehicles currently locked off. I'd imagine those are unlocked at the time of the Codball event, given the importance of vehicles there. But that seems to be everything that we'll get in relation to this event overall, or what's explicitly stated so far. A couple of bundles, a new mode, and some sort of just fun mini game within the game itself. So the next question turns to when is the overall FC event then? Will there be more to it? Now, before we jump into that, I want to let you know about my friends over at Gamer Advantage. You know that I've talked about them for so long if you've been here on the channel. If you're new, they're a favorite of mine. As a creator who's at my desk looking at my monitor for 10 plus hours a day, eye fatigue and the effects of blue light have absolutely wreaked havoc on me for years and having had tried just about every pair of blue light glasses imaginable you can find on Amazon, none of them come close to what Gamer Advantage has helped me with. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market. Their lenses are clinically proven and they can absolutely be a great help to you in your daily productivity as well. If you're working at a monitor, gaming a ton, or even just looking at your phone for prolonged periods of time a day, these are absolutely for you. This week, they're kicking off some incredible deals, so keep your eyes peeled 
episode. We'll have a few more shoutouts to come over the next week or so, so make sure you check them out. But if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below. And if you're looking to pick something up, use code ESPRESSO for 10% off normally, but with stacked site-wide discounts, upwards of even 50% off for select periods of time during the week upcoming. We'll keep posted on when those go live, but make sure you check out Gamer Advantage linked below. Now, as for the timing, well, this next couple of things is pure prediction, but perhaps worthwhile and perhaps with some basis to it. Now, if this follows anything like traditional sort of crossover and events we've seen in the past, we'll see likely about a two week time frame for this event. Naturally, it hasn't started just yet. We don't see anything in game. Codball isn't live. So the earliest that we'll likely see things kick off is this upcoming Wednesday, the one week out mark from the launch of season one. However, I'm kind of expecting it more so to be something that launches next week at the quarter way mark for season one. And that kind of makes sense. Again, normally smaller events like like this last about two weeks long. That'd make it two weeks from the season one launch, but also two weeks still away from the mid-season update on the 14th of December, which is already confirmed. So it'll be our sort of quarter season update here at this. And if you do things like that, pairing it to end with the mid-season update, that's an update to wipe that slate clean and introduce more content across the board at that point. We know that we have raids coming for sure within season one reloaded. What else comes beyond that? We'll have to wait and see. Now, perhaps one of the bigger questions, though, is will we see anything more with this event? Or is it just going to be the three bundles, a new game mode, and an in-game pick'em event? Now, when I say, is it going to be anything more, I'm more so thinking about the actual seasonal events that we've had in the past through Warzone, Vanguard, to a degree, Vanguard was kind of neglected in that 6v6 and regular multiplayer experience with these events. They've really only transferred into Warzone. But in Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019, we had seasonal events that would allow you to do challenges in game in either multiplayer or in Warzone and earn things as you went along, with usually a completionist reward at the very end, like an exclusive blueprint or something like that. Will we see that again? I'm personally thinking not. Again, this is something that's more so minor. It doesn't tie into anything thematically with the Modern Warfare storyline or anything like that. And also the fact that we're only likely going to see this for about two weeks or so with minimal marketing leading up to it, it just doesn't seem very likely it will have something much larger. Instead, it'll just be kind of a niche, hey, this is going on in the real world, we're kind of promoting it and helping push that a little further by using these couple of things in game. Now, that said, I'd be happily wrong if they do come back and introduce new challenges and stuff like that for an actual event, I'd be all for that. But the way that I see it right now, I'm not really getting my hopes up for that. So for now, I think that all we really have on deck is this smaller amount of content, but we still have some stuff to look forward to in that regard. So that's where we're at. That's everything that I think we need to know right now about this Modern Warfare FC event, a little mini limited time event with a new mode, a pick'em event, and some stuff coming in the shop. So for that, whether or not you get excited for it, of course, it's entirely subjective. Maybe you're really stoked for it. Maybe you're not so much. Whatever the case, that's totally cool either way. But for now, that's where I call it. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys liking what you're hearing about this Modern Warfare FC event? Were you hoping for something a little bigger? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ upcoming. We've got a lot still on deck, so I'd love to have you in the community. For now, thanks so much for watching. Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.